Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome back. We got some juicy topics for you. How juicy? You don't even need a juicer. It's so juicy. Um, so basically, in between episodes, I showed James my fucking new lock. Yeah, it's a sick lock. It's voice activated and it's app activated. Yeah, you can, and you can just use your key with it too. It's an August lock. And uh, yeah, it's August. fucking sick. It can tell when I get home and then it auto unlocks for me when it uh, connects to Bluetooth. It's like so nice. Because it connects to your phone. Yep. So it connects to, you know, your GPS on your phone and then it determines. Like, oh, Elliot just came near home, so next time it connects to the door, uh, unlock the door automatically. It's so fantastic. Um, nice. I don't have it set up with my Smovexa because then somebody could just stand outside my door and say, Hey, Smovexa, unlock the door! <laughs> and then I'd be upset. <laughs> yeah, because people will come and steal all your shit. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yes, two. The second topic, quick topic, is... Uh, yeah, it's weight goals. I'm almost down to my uh, weight goal. I have almost lost about 30 pounds in three months. Uh, I've still got another week and a half in a month, so I may have lost 30 pounds in three months at that point. Uh, and I may keep going even further. We'll see. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, but you guys, too, can lose weight. <laughs> uh, if you so like, feel free to... Leave a comment or try and DM me on Twitter and request for any tips and I can give you whatever I have. Royal Goobs, sponsored by Fitbit. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Except <Yeah>. not. <laughs> Seriously, though, man. Yeah, the, the Fitbit helped me. So if you're looking for something, I don't know, anything at this point, try out a, try looking into a Fitbit. I'm not saying, like, that's going to work for you, but that's what worked for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, props to Fitbit. If somehow you ever fucking hear this, yeah, you guys make a sweet product. If the CEO of Fitbit has nothing, like, and I mean nothing better to do with his time, or she, and they're just <laughs> looking up random, shitty, horrible, like, I'm on that weird part of YouTube again this kind is a of fake video. Door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Now I have no bombs. Got, you just got hit by the boulder and the butt. No! And, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. That could have been bad. So, um, That's a fake one too. You can tell because the way it stands out of the. Table. Oh yeah, it, it extrudes out from the wall a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell. And then you have an actual juicy story. Yeah. So, um, Elliot, last episode, Elliot was talking about this weird guy who was like, "If I know a child, like any, like guys who do bad things to kids, we murder them in the yeah. swamp." That reminded me of something that happened to me once in ninth grade. So one time in ninth grade. It was a lovely spring day. I went to my sister's softball game. Now, I wasn't sitting in the bleachers. I was sitting at, like, a picnic bench with my dog, Cody. He was on the leash. They fucked. I noticed that uh, there was this weird, like, kind of odd-looking guy. How do I... It's, it's not like he actually shady. was... Phys he, he seemed kind of shady, yeah. And... He was wearing sh I mean, he actually was wearing shades, so... <laughs> he looked shady. <laughs> um, and I was like, huh, I wonder what's up with that guy. Because he didn't appear to be, like, the parent of any of the kids that were there playing softball. And I was like, huh, what if... Hmm. So, and then later at one point, I was... I decided to walk Cody away from the park, the softball field. I was walking on this very long path that led away where nobody else was towards a forest as i was walking there um and you know i was kind of by myself at that point with cody nobody else was really close by i stop i turn around there's the guy and right when he sees me turn around and see him he stops he goes and then he turns around and walks back where he Pe came people from people couldn't tell what you did when you said he goes what you said he goes <laughs> oh yeah, he just shudders. He goes like, uh -uh, and then turns around, and it's like shit. You know what? He could tell I'm following him. Uh -uh. <laughs> so yeah, he dude, spooky. Yeah, and then he walked away, and from that point on, like I walked back and sat at that bench, and I looked at him while he was in the car, and I just stared at him with an angry face, and I think he was looking at me too, and I was like, you motherfucker. Damn. I, I know what you were planning to do, or I know what you're, why you're here. So yeah, 
That shit happened. Make what sure the? you're aware of your surroundings, kids and people. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that happened. Damn. Not the most cheery, funny story, Damn but it. yeah. Oh no. Um. Just wow, dude. Yeah. yeah. A warning story for for little kids. Yeah, be mindful of uh, fucking creeps. Yeah, stranger danger. Stranger danger. Give me the news. What the fuck? How's that it clipping so him? Cute. How's it clipping him? He looks like a Kirby enemy. He's so adorable. Look at his little legs. He's gonna jump back. He's a cute little red thingy on his head. Fuck. Yeah, he's so cute. I can barely damage him, dude. Uh, yes. Uh, dude, I have. And you had two stories I to have, share. Yeah, one is just the creepy fucking dude. Okay, one is like uh, holy shit, this guy's crazy story, and another one, I guess, kind of same thing. So, my buddy here. Let, let me tell it after I was fighting this fucking. This guy. It's hard for me to play and tell a full story while fighting this boss, mini boss. Um, what's this thing called? Flare dance. Flare dance. <laughs> You know, I was once told that, uh, the name Flare Dancer reminded me of this. I was once told that I have the body of a drag queen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I went to this, uh, I think it was a gay slash drag, uh, bar. Okay. I went there once with a bunch of, it was actually with a bunch of people in the brony club that I hang out with. Nice. Uh, we went there for dinner one night, and uh, somebody, one of the girls who was there at the table with me, she said, Hey, uh... Would you be offended if I told you you had the body of a drag queen? And I said, oh. that depends. Like, what does that mean? You know, that like, you're, you're just slender and, you know, seem fit. And I was like, and I was like no, that, I wouldn't be offended at all. Okay, cool. You have the body of a drag queen. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you. Cool. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so you're done with that mini boss? Yeah. So uh, you got two stories to tell? Right, so, my buddy, uh... Nino. You know what I called him? Yeah, Nino. Yep. Okay, more weird. adventures with Nino. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dude. No, wait, it wasn't Nino. Okay. Nino and, uh, fuck, uh, we'll call the other dude. Papaya. Papaya. Okay. <laughs> so, Papaya, uh, had the same name, first name as B, fuck, as Nino. Okay. Uh, and that's why I got them mixed up. Okay, how about, let's call him Nino 2, then. Okay, Nino 2. That, that makes more sense. Cool. So, Nino 2 and I were walking by Nino's house, uh, which is by a trail along mm -hmm. a lake. And it's kind of like secluded with, hold on, with trees and shit. And, you know, it's it's kind of in the middle of nowhere in the forest, basically. Right? Is this close to by where your parents are from? Where kind of. In their first house, kind of. Okay. Kind of close there. Uh, so, uh, we were... We'd walk that trail all the time because we could get to a local. Um, yes, yep. Mjolnir. <clears throat> yeah, uh, we could get to a local food store and buy candy and shit. Like, Sweet. so growing up, I'd go there all the time. And taking the shortcut through the forest was like way faster. One day, uh, like no, we we'd done this hundreds of times. It's not weird at all. It was during the middle of the fucking day. It was light out. Uh -huh. um, one day though. We were walking, and we we heard something as we were walking along the trail in the forest next to the lake. And keep in mind, no one can really see us on this trail. It's, like, very secluded, right? Mm, okay. Um, and so... <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> Pixie dust. Yep. So nobody can see you. So no one can see us and stuff, uh, but it's not that weird. You know, it's creepy as fuck at night. Like, yeah. I wouldn't walk on it at night, but it wasn't. We heard somebody talking, and they're like, oh, it's probably just someone on their phone. Like, didn't pay it any attention, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we see people, people will pass you by on the trail fairly often. It's a popular trail for, like, running and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, so we're just fucking doing our thing, chilling, and then we hear it get louder and louder. And then we see some guy with, like, really long hair, like, really long hair, and he's tilting his head, like, 45 degrees sideways. And then we thought he was with someone at first, but no, he was talking to himself, like, oh, out loud, wow. very audibly. Um, he had, like, super long black hair, and he was talking about a birthday party. Like, I want to go to a birthday party! We're going to go to the fucking birthday party! I said we're going to go to the birthday party, and we're going to go, okay? And, like, just talking to himself, getting very angry. And uh, uh, then, no shit, we noticed in his hand he has a fucking machete. And he's just oh. walking along this fucking path, like, straight out of a fucking horror movie, dude. Uh, 
And so we get very concerned. Uh, the guy does not appear to like be looking at us at all. He just a machete is like an axe, right? No, it's like a, a long sword, basically. It's a oh, jungle okay. sword used for for um, destroying like plants, forging paths in the jungle. Oh, okay. Right? One of those. Okay. Yes. Um, kind of looks like a saber almost. Right? Okay. Why does this like? I think you have to get a box. Yeah, that's what there. I thought too, but I broke them all. Damn it. Oh, maybe you have to use the Megaton hammer and it makes the switch stay. I thought that too, but nope. Hmm. Okay, I need a box, which I broke. Yeah, you just gotta leave the room and come back in. Damn it. Okay, so uh, so we start running back. Uh -huh. um, and then we... Uh, so the trail goes in like a big circle. Uh -huh. Except there is one cut, and that goes to Nino's house. Actual Nino's house. Uh -huh. And that's like, if you're going straight, it's a 90 degree left-hand turn. That uh -huh. goes... Uh, yeah, straight. So we take that, and then we get back into a cul-de-sac. It's maybe like a hundred yards away, and we're just sitting at the entrance to that fucking, you know, uh, the path. And we wait for ten minutes or so, because we ran uh, not so far, but oh, uh, pretty far away. We're like, okay, maybe that guy's not going to come. Uh, all right. And then, uh, just as we think that or so, maybe a minute after that, as we're about to get back on the trail down the long line where we start you know where we forked off we see the guy walk past but he stops in like the middle of the thing and like turns 90 degrees and faces us and just stares at us for like i don't know a good five seconds like because he's talking to himself and then he pauses and then just looks at us and then he doesn't say fucking anything but uh yeah then then we're like Okie dokie, and the guy keeps on going along. Then we called the police, and they're like, "Yeah, we already got reports of this guy. We're on our way." And we're like, "Okie dokie," and yeah, it was, uh, fantastic. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, pretty spoopy. Wow, dude. Yeah, I can imagine, especially as a kid. That's like, whoa. Geez. Yeah, I mean, we were in high school. Is this gonna be a Stephen King novel? <laughs> <laughs> we were in high school, probably like sixteen or so. Oh, okay. Oh, Maybe. so you were? No, we, we would have been driving to that place so 15 or younger i see um yeah but my other experience with a crazy fucking person was also with nino too oh uh but you can hear about that another time maybe tomorrow next time on royal goobs uh -huh.